Hi guys, um, and welcome back to another story with Miss Catrone from Citizenship Academy. I am so excited to read to you our last story in our Laura Numeroff series. And today our story is titled, If You Take a Mouse to School. Now I know that we're not in school together now, but maybe we can um, read this story together, listen to it together, and remember all of the things that we loved to do together and look forward to them for when we get back. So um, I'm really excited because we finished our whole series, or we will after this one, and I'm going to put all of these books in our classroom library so we can read them together. So let's get started and find out what happens if you take a mouse to school. If you take a mouse to school, looks like he's brushing his hair, getting all ready, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. And then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. You guys can comment in the Google Classroom and tell me what is your favorite thing to have for lunch or a snack. I know that some of our friends love sun butter and jelly. Some of you guys love um, chicken patties and different things. So you can tell me what your favorite is. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. Hmm. Do you guys think this classroom looks the same, similar, or different from our classrooms at school? I think kind of both. Looks different because the desks are all separated. He'll do a little math and spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. Look at that math that they're doing. That science experiment looks so messy. <gasps> oh my gosh. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean. Hmm. He'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. That looks like something you guys would do in STEM is build a mouse house. And make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. I love to see how creative you guys are when you write me stories really shows me all the wonderful ideas you have in your brains. He'll probably use up all of your pencils and then he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe space. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. And then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. Ooh, I like that they're playing different sports here. You guys can also comment and tell me what your favorite sport to play is. I like to shoot hoops. I think that's a fun sport when you play basketball. And he'll do a little skateboarding. Check him out. He looks like he's flying. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat a snack. So he'll ask you for your, can you guess? <laughs> Lunchbox, you're right. And chances are, what's going to happen if you give him your lunchbox? If he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him where? Where does he want to go? 
back to school. All right, guys, I loved um, reading about all the fun things that the mouse gets to do at school, and I cannot wait until we're back together and we can do all those things together again. For today, I hope you have a wonderful day. It's beautiful where I am, so I hope that you get outside and play a little bit. Um, and don't forget to comment and tell me some of your favorite sports to play, some of your favorite snacks to eat. I can't wait to hear from you all. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.